I wrote this next song at a Porter's Books in Marietta, Georgia. I had forgotten my guitar, if you can believe it or not. And I had left work, and I was headed down 85. And then I realized I had forgotten my guitar, but traffic going the other way was just absolutely bumper to bumper. That was a horrible feeling. I had no guitar, and I was going to my big gig, the Borders Books. And they either gave you like 30 bucks cash or like 50 bucks store credit or something. So I took the 50 bucks and I got a book on how to make more money. And here I am. That's how you do it, people. And this is no lie. I was so flustered. I borrowed a guitar from the great Sean Mullins, actually. I stopped by Sean Mullins' house because he was on the way. I need a guitar. I'm so sorry. You hardly know me. I know you think I'm a punk. Can I please just borrow a guitar? And I borrowed his guitar. And there were the four people waiting for me. And God bless the four people waiting there. And it was me again, me versus the coffee machine. I didn't have that kind of firepower at the time. I only had a little PA and they had a, I think it was a bun. I think it might've been a bun. I can't be sure. You know a bun, you ever see a bun, B-U-N-N? Anyway, I was just trying to think of a coffee bun. And I was so frustrated that I just started making this song up. And the song was about how I had had this terrible afternoon. And that's where the song picks up. It goes like this. I'm driving 85 in kind of morning last all afternoon. I'm just stuck inside the room. Formal exits to my apartment I am tempted to keep the car in the ride And leave this shit behind Cause I want some time About the outcome of a stay